the blessings of Jesus. They are also of prophecy. If you're a host, A, J, C. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 Anyhow. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. I want to thank everybody for joining me tonight. I know, I know, I know. Uh, we supposed to came on at 8 a.m. this morning, but things happen, and God knows I'm still here tonight. And I'm glad if you're still here, let's get a shout going on right now. Let's get a shout going right now. Yes, sir. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. Ah, God. He been good, hey? Ain't he been good to you? He been good to me all day. I'm thanking him for it already. I'm thanking him for it already. Hallelujah. Ah, God. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to AJ Ministries House of Prophecy. I'm your host, AJC, and I'm going to see you through today. Well, I've been making some decisions and making some changes. God been talking to me like crazy today. He's doing some things. I tell you, I love it when he do it the way he do it. I love it the way he do it when he do it. Because all you can do when he do what he do is you got to let it out. You got to let it out. Yeah, God, we got to get a dance. You done made it through another day. You done started it all over again. You done helped us and kept us safe. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. God, I thank you. Hallelujah. Ah, oh, my God, my God, my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm ready for this night. I'm ready for the night. I tell you, I woke up this morning and things were just going crazy. Things was going crazy. And then the crazy thing about it, I got out there and I got out to work and it was raining. So it's raining outside, cats and dogs. And I mean, it's raining cats and dogs. And I'm sitting back saying, yeah, well, it's raining. But how about, how, how, how many people know that even in the rain, God is up to something. He's already up to something. He already doing something right. He already moving some things. He already turning some things. He got to wash some things out of your life so you can make room for new stuff. I tell you, it's time to go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't care if you ain't come, you had, if you ain't come here with a shout on your on your heart and, and a dance in your feet. You at the wrong place. You ain't come to you ain't come to do what I came to do. Cause I came to glorify God. I came to give Him my all and all. Every time I think about the goodness and all that He's done for me, all I can do is shout Hallelujah, Hallelujah for saving me. Hallelujah. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. Yeah, God. You do your thing, God. You do whatever you came to do. Oh, God. Oh, God. God. Let me stop cutting up. Let me stop cutting up. But I tell you, sometimes it, it, I feel kind of strange when I'm doing it because I forget that y'all ain't got ain't the same place I'm at. See, if you only knew where I came from, if you only seen my battles, if you only came through my str struggles, then you'll know why every time I sit down, every time I get a chance, I shout glory to his name. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We about to get some, something done today. Somebody got to give up. I came to put a kick the devil in the head. I want to put him on his back. I want to get him on. I'm tired of him, me getting beat up. I'm ready to fight back. I'm ready to put that devil on his heels. Back up off me, devil. Back up off me today. Yeah, yeah. Ah, oh, God. I may not be in the house, but I got the house in me. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. See, I got a reason to shout. I got a reason to be happy. I got a reason to glorify my God because I done came through the whole day. I don't know about nobody else, but I ain't got the easiest job in the world. I love my job. I love where I work at. But sometimes stress get me up against the wall. Sometimes Things get to happening. And when the things happen to me, I just got to let it out. And so when I get home and I get to my personal place, I can say, God, here I am. Thank you for saving me. Oh, yeah, he saved me. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Woo! <laughs> Glory be to God. I want to thank everybody that might be listening to us out there on Zeno FM. Uh, we're not going to be on Block Talk Radio. I wanted to say we're cutting Block Talk Radio off. I got to streamline some things, but we're still going to be on the, uh, our other websites and we're going to be on our other uh, social media sites. We are, but I got to streamline some things because it's too much for me. It ain't too much for God, but it's too much for me. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, knowing that I, knowing that He got my back, 
knowing that he's going to take care of me anyway, knowing that he loved me despite of all the things that I've done in my life, God gave me a second chance, and I'm happy to say I'm here for him. My God, my God, my God. So tonight, 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 I, I'm gonna, I, we're gonna. I want to encourage somebody tonight. Uh, we're gonna, we're gonna do us a, a, a poem, and uh, we're gonna let God, God do what He gonna do tonight. Uh, I got an inspirational poem for somebody out there to let them know that you know what, it's all right. You know, it's all right. God, God, you, you, you gotta know that. It's all right. You understand what I'm saying to you? You know, we get out there and we we, we, we get to trying to make ourselves do more or be more than we really are because we want to please somebody else. But if you take time and just realize the only person you got to please is God. If you please in God, God going to do the rest. If you can take your time to say, God, I'm sorry. Lord, forgive me. Let me live for you. God will take care of you. See, if you get, if you, if you, if, if you stop worrying about everybody around you, everybody that is pointing at you, everybody that got their eyes, or if you stop worrying about them and start focusing on God, He'll take you from the guttermost to the uttermost. He'll clean you up. He'll wash you down. He'll make you a fresh, new creature in Christ. I tell you, I, I, the day I met Jesus, I, the day I met Jesus. Nobody know, nobody know. See, I was that Doubting Thomas. I was that guy that you had to prove to me what was going on. And God laid a follower of Christ in my midst. A true woman of God. And when he put her in my midst, he knew that I was going to be acting up. He knew that I was going to be talking crazy. He knew that I was going to have all kinds of questions. See, the thing about a person like me, I'm a debater. I love the debate. I love the debate. I, I might even take, take, take that, be an adversarial uh, condition, positioning just so we can debate, so we can, so we can talk about the right and the wrong. <laughs> Was that way, been that way, probably still am that way. But he knew that this woman of God would be able to say the things that I needed to hear to get through, to bring me to his house. And I tell you, I thank him day every day that he took out time out of out of his busy schedule to come down and visit a, a, a little old man like me and say son you're worthy of my love son you're worthy of my time i want to help you be a better you that's god told me he wanted me to be a better me he wanted me to be a better me and i want to tell you today he just wants the same for you he wants you to be a better you hallelujah Hallelujah, hallelujah to God. My Lord, my Lord, my Lord. So listen, we got a, we got a poem. We're going to do a short prayer. I'm going to let you go. I'm sorry, but God is always doing ha making me happy. He's always doing some wonderful things in my life. He's always bringing me around. And every time I get another peek at the future, every time I get another peek, and it was to come. Every time I get another peek at how he's changing me, all I can do is cry out. All I can do is say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for it. Lord, thank you. You didn't have to do it. You didn't have to come get me out that crack house. You didn't have to come get me out that, that bar. You didn't have to come get me off them corners. You didn't have to do it, but God, you did. Oh, my God. See, I don't know if you know like I know, but I know that God is a wondrous worker. He's a miracle working God. I'm a miracle. I'm standing right here in front of you right now. And I'm telling you that he's a miracle working God. And I'm a miracle walking right now. If you know that you're a miracle. If you know that you got some problems going on. If you know you had some things in your life. If you know you was that joker that's about to had one foot in the grave and one foot on the banana bill. Then you ought to be celebrating God right now with me. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good in God. It's all good in God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So today, today we have a, a poem. I want to give you an inspirational poem. It was written by Greta Zwan. Greta Zwan. This woman, I hope one day she has a chance to hear uh, one of these broadcasts of me doing one of her poems. And if you could email me write me do whatever you need to do contact me some kind of way because i would love 
to meet you in person. I travel. I bring me to wipe the kids. We we'll all come down. Make a weekend of it. A week. <laughs> hallelujah. Hallelujah. But she wrote, she wrote a poem. And the poem was Swimming Upstream Alone. The name of the poem is Swimming Upstream Alone. My God, my God. Do you ever feel like that? Do you ever feel like that everything you're doing, you 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 fighting against the current? Do you feel like that you all by yourself? Nobody can really understand what you're trying to do or what you want to happen in God. Do, do, do you ever feel like that the world is against you and all you can do is just keep swimming and swimming and it feel like you can't trust nobody? You can't depend on nobody. You can't, ain't nobody got your back, but God got your back. So the name of this poem is Swimming Upstream Alone. I hope it encourages you. I said, I'll walk this road alone. My plans are all array. I don't need interference. I will not be dismayed. I have the gift of knowledge. I have a brilliant mind. My talents are fulfilling through which much joy I find. My well-established pattern creates my life of ease. A lifestyle lived in comfort to do the things I please. Then there's a sudden challenge. My health seems to give way. My concentration is weakened. I wonder, will this stay? Oh, surely I'll get better. I'm never sick for long. It's my great constitution. I've always been real strong. Yet this is quite consuming. There seems no end in sight. I followed the doctor's orders, but things just are not right. I'm alone. I think a lot. It's all that I can do. There must be a solution for what I'm going through. Then one day, in the stillness, a small voice comes to me. I must get your attention. It's time that you should see. The life that you've created will someday end in grief. The pattern you have followed can never bring relief. Your problems will be constant. No comfort can be found. Your life has been established on very shaky ground. I'm offering a solution. Let God direct your way. He's patently being waited. He longs to hear you say, Oh God, you are my shepherd. I leave you in control. I've messed things up quite badly. I've never reached my goal. But God, with your permission, I'd like to join your team and have you as my pilot to ferry me upstream. I realize my error. I've tried to swim alone. But God, please be my lifeguard and bring me safely home. Name of that poem was Swimming Upstream Alone. I heard this poem and I could only cry out to God that he wants more for you. He needs more for you. He wants you to be greater than you've ever been. He wants to hold you up. He wants to fight your battles, but you got to know that you got to let go and let God be God. So today, as we go forth, today, as we, as we, as we, as we finish our day and, and come into our homes with our children and our wives and our whatever it may be take a moment out to say God thank you thank you for for what for watching over me Lord thank you for keeping me safe through the highways and hills Lord God thank you for putting your angels about me Lord 
so I may not be killed. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you today. Lord, I glorify your holy name. I lift you on high. I give you all the praise and all the honor. Lord God, I ask you to touch anyone under the sound of my voice. Strengthen them, Lord God, for the battle ahead. Give them a love for the people they'll contact. Lord God, their minds be stayed on you, their hearts be filled with joy, and their lives be transformed by your word. Father God, and most of all, your word says you'll never leave us nor forsake us. So let's stand by and hold us. Put us in the refuge of your arms. Let us sit under the wings of your word. Take us to this thing we call life and give us another chance for a better day is my prayer in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen. Glory be to God. If you, if you were here, and I thank you for coming by to visit with us. I hope you enjoyed the poem. I hope you got something out of the prayer. I hope the poem touched your heart. But today I need you to say right now that God is your God. You have to know that God is the one and only God to give you what you need, what you deserve, what you want in life. And until you realize that God is just that, you're always going to fall short. You're always going to be weary. You're always going to be hurt. But today God is waiting on you. God is waiting to bring you back to where he first found you, your first love, in Jesus' name. Glory be to God. Well, that's all the time we got for tonight. I want to thank you guys for coming by and seeing us. I want to thank you for just taking your time out. I hope God is doing something wonderful for you in your life and that he's laying his blessings all over you and yours. And as always, I'm your host, AJ Sheep. And as always, we're running out of here with a shout because God is... Hallelujah, God. Have a blessed day.